Hey, hey, y'all. How are you? Happy Saturday. So I got to share this testimony with y'all right quick before I pull off right quick. Okay. So I went to this. Um, FYI, I finished all my packing last night. Okay. Unpacking. Everything's put away. I finished. Guys, I was on my feet for over eight hours. Okay. My movers got there, got done with unloading my stuff to the new place about 11 a.m. Your girl was unpacking, cleaning, and putting away stuff until 10.07, which is significant, but until 10.07 p.m. Y'all, by the time I laid down, my body was hurting so bad, like my legs. But all I could do is say thank you, God, for giving me the supernatural strength to finish because it was a lot of work, y'all. I was tired, not tired, tired, okay? So I had in between, of course, I stopped to eat and stuff as I was putting away stuff in my new place. Um, and I'm just so grateful. God is so good, y'all. The whole time I was unpacking, even though I was getting frustrated because I was tired, I still kept thanking God because you thank him through it all. I still kept, thank you, Lord, for this new place. Thank you, God, for this transition. Thank you, God. Like, I kept thanking him. In the middle of it, I was playing my praise and worship. I had caught some of the live of Sister Carolina and was just doing a whole bunch of stuff. But I was literally praying and praising throughout the whole time because he's just so good so yesterday i knew because my nails guys i wear my real nails now i just put powder over them at the nail shop but i wear my real nails i don't wear acrylics or anything my real nails have grown so so long these are my nails not fake nails and i looked at my nails yesterday i was like <laughs> it's time for me to get my nails done okay um so I booked an appointment at a, a place that obviously I've never been to this nail shop before um, because I just moved yesterday. But I booked the the um, an appointment with this nail shop to do my nails and a pedicure for today uh, around 12 so that I can kind of sleep in and stuff. Guys, God is so good. I get to the nail shop and you know most nail places when you walk in and don't act like y'all don't know this you see that fat buddha person at the front of the door they worship buddha like um majority of um the nail shops you'll see that are um from what's the what's the place i'm trying to say not china but um vietnamese and all those people they worship fat buddha so you'll always see fat buddha and some weird golden cat doing some waving at you every time you walk in a nail shop. That's like almost every shop, right? So I walk in, they don't have it at this shop. And I was looking for it. I was like, where's that thing? Cause I always go into prayer, child. I don't know what little spirits be coming from that little Buddha thing. And if y'all act like y'all didn't know that and don't act like you don't know. If you go get your nails done, you don't see that fat, either the fat man that they put money in little candy by or a fat cat that's on the floor. It's always in gold. And then there's like a little paw doing this, okay? This nail shop didn't have that when I walked in because I looked for it. So I they seat me. The girl's talking to me. Super nice. The front desk receptionist. Uh, the girl comes and she fills my tub. And another lady comes and she's preparing to do my nails. And her name's Kim. So she looks at me and she sees my earrings, right? They have a cross on it. She sees my earrings and she's like, oh, you love God? She's like, me too. And she pulls out, and of course she has an accent because she's Vietnamese. She pulls out her necklace, her diamond little cross on her necklace. She's like, me too. And she's like, I sing. She's telling me she sings in the choir. And she's like, um, she was just so excited. She's like, you love God. You love Jesus. I was like, yes. Yeah. She's like, yes, me too. So I'm already knowing. I'm like, okay, Lord, come through. So she, she asked me, she's like, what do you want on your nails? I'm like, um, dip, because I get, again, these are my nails, right? I get dip on my real nails. No fake acrylics, just dip. So I'm like, dip. I tell her the color, and she's like, okay. She's like, are you married? I'm like, no. She's like, not yet. I was like, okay, not yet. And she started laughing, like she was just so giddy. She's like, yeah, not yet. And then she looks at the color, she's like, 
you want design on your nail? I was like, no, just the color. And she's like, we should do design. Let's put design diamonds on your on your ring finger. And I'm like, on my ring finger? She's like, yeah, let's do that. And I was like, okay. I'm like, let's do designs on my ring finger. Guys, so she starts to do my nails and she's just so giddy, right? She's giddy the whole time. And she's like, I'm doing you sexy nails. I was like, okay, go ahead and do me some sexy nails. She's like, this time, sexy. Next time, sexy and romantic. And she just burst out laughing. So I'm laughing at her because she doesn't even realize how prophetically God is using her, right? So in my mind, a word is just loading. And I'm like, okay, God, your people need to hear what you're doing in this hour. She didn't know that he was using her like she was literally speaking prophetically it's like she kept saying it this time sexy next time romantic and sexy and she's like she's like we put diamonds on your ring finger if y'all know i did a word on chanel 555 and the the thumbnail i chose for that video was diamonds and that was a word uh, pertaining to marriage as uh, as well as other stuff as well so I'm just sitting there laughing and I'm like, Lord, I'm like, I can't make this stuff up. So she starts doing the designs and she's like, I put diamond on all your fingers. I put diamond on all your fingers. She's like, but your ring finger, I'm gonna make different. So there's diamonds, if you guys could see, on every one of my nails, you can't really see the difference, but on my actual ring finger on my left hand, the diamonds are different actually on both ring fingers. They have different types of diamonds. And I'm just listening to her talking. She um she finishes my nails and I'm like, they look so good. My toes are the same color. They just don't have designs on them. But they look so good. And she brings out this white little fur, little rug, right? For your nails, for your hands, because she wanted to take a picture of them, right? So she pulls out, she preps my hand on the um the white fur rug. It was all white. And I like position my hand so she could take a picture because they just opened three months ago okay so she takes a picture of my nails and as she's opening her phone she has a picture of Jesus and Mary you know how people portray Jesus and Mary like the white man with the long hair and mother Mary his mother on the phone and she's like see see and I was like yes I see at the same time I'm like I hear you Lord okay so she takes a picture of my nails guys this was just God all up in this experience because like I said most people Vietnamese people they do not worship God they do not right even the receptionist was like I saw her come over here and pull out her cross she literally was like you love God she's like me too and she pulled whips out her her little diamond cross necklace so cute and I'm like he's the only way to go she's like yeah and I sing in the choir too <laughs> and she's like I'm short but I feel high when I sing I wear heels and I feel high and she's just like so like guys she was portraying her love for God like no other but at the same time God was using her to speak on marriages okay are you married that was her first question all right, her second question. First question, you love God. Second question, are you married? I said, no, not yet. She's like, not yet. <laughs> she just started laughing and I'm like, oh Lord. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because so many of you guys are in a, you have no idea that you just transition into a whole nother year, okay? You just transition. We're in the month of Nissan. That's the first month of the year. Many of you are transitioning jobs. You are transitioning in your location and you think it's just you're moving to a new location or a new job or a new whatever, when in reality, God has just transitioned your whole life. Like there is a huge shift. So many people are in their marriage season and unions coming together. It is not even funny. So many people, guys. So many. And you have no idea. So prepare your hearts. I have a word being released tomorrow um, that's a really deep word. I'm going to do a live tomorrow at 2.33 p.m. And I picked that for purpose. Um, don't ask in the comments why. Just show up to the live if you feel led to. If you don't feel led to, don't show up to it. Um, but it's from a dream God gave me in the wee hours of this morning. 
Um, and he also had me go back to a dream he gave me in 2021. And so much is happening in this hour, guys. And I know so many are tired of hearing about marriage words, but when you speak for God, you don't pick what you want to speak about. You just let him speak through you. And he uses experiences. He uses songs. He uses so many methods. And I just have to get on here and speak what he gives me. But God is saying many of you guys are not married uh, right now, but it's a not yet. You're about to be. Okay. So you married? I said, no, she said not yet. <laughs> she just laughed. And I'm like, what? Even her down to her saying, this time it's sexiness. Next time it's romantic and sexy. Just every little thing God was having her speak and she was speaking it unknowingly, right? Unknowingly that she was actually prophesying that God was using her to speak. I knew because the puzzle pieces were connecting so well in my head, okay? They were connecting so well. And just get ready. Whoever this word is for, <laughs> down to her putting diamonds on my ring finger but then she put it on all of them just the ring finger was different types of diamonds okay y'all better catch this word spiritually i just had to share that with you before i pull off from the nail shop i am still in front of this place i i have so many errands to run i have to grocery shop and um get a few more things that i'm missing command hooks for my apartment and stuff but before i did that i wanted to release this word while it was hot in my spirit hot off the press okay to just tell you guys how God is working in this hour. And the name Kim means devoted to God. And I know this because he's used Kim several times in my dreams. Like the name Kim, a person with the name Kim, it means devoted to God. Okay, so whoever this is for, y'all always hear me tell y'all everything you've prayed for, everything that's in God's will for you is behind him. So you had to devote your life to serving God and now those doors are opening. Okay, if you haven't devoted your life to intimately serving God for reasons beyond what he can give, this is not your season. But if you know that you've devoted your time, your heart, your mind, your will to God, and he's told you what season you're in, prepare your hearts, guys, because he is not playing. I can't make up this experience if I wanted to. But that's the word, y'all. I'm going to get off here because I have some errands to run and I don't want to be out all day, but I'm kind of at the same time just learning the area. Um, it's so pretty over here. So I'm just learning the area, y'all. Um, but I just woke up with so much joy in my heart this morning. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. Holy Spirit. Just, guys, just the goodness of God. And it's not what he can do for me. Like, I'm okay with being single. Like, I literally don't wake up every morning. If anything, I'm like, God, what you doing? Because you all over the place. But I don't wake up and I'm like, marriage, marriage, marriage. Like, I love my time. I can hang out with myself. I enjoy myself. And if you don't know how to be by yourself, you're definitely not in a marriage season because you have to learn how to be by yourself before you can be with somebody else. You have to learn how to love yourself before you can love another person. And that I've learned. I, I enjoy my time. I enjoy being by myself. I enjoy ministering to you guys, which is my purpose. This is my purpose, my calling. I enjoy these things without a husband. So when God sends that person, that's just the added benefit because I've already been enjoying my life and my time with God. He who finds a wife finds a good thing. You're a wife when he finds you because you've learned how to be loyal and dedicated and faithful to the bridegroom, to, to your original husband, to your first husband, and that's God. And this goes for men too. God is your original wife as well. That's the bridegroom. That's your husband. That's the person that comes first before any woman, wife, husband, whoever. But I just wanted to share share that with you guys. I'm going to get off here and finish running my errands. Um, I'll see y'all tomorrow on the live at 2.33 p.m. Be there or be square if you feel led to because it ain't for everybody. So to pray to God and ask. Um, don't ask me about it. Don't ask me what it's about in the comments. You'll see when I drop it. Um, but 2.33 p.m. Central Standard Time. I scheduled it this morning and I'm just going to let God flow because he gave me a very powerful, um, I guess you can call it, it wasn't even a dream. The, he has me releasing a dream from 2021, but I actually heard um, the Lord speak in the, in the wee hours of this morning. So it wasn't even a dream, but it 
matches a dream he gave me in 2021 that's a now word um so i just wanted to share this experience with y'all i love you guys i'm gonna get off here and run errands thank you for your well wishes your kind words y'all don't know seeds are not just um money when you sow a seed when you speak life over somebody and so many of you guys have just been so kind and why am i getting emotional and just thank you thank you guys this has been a journey and it has not been easy but it's been worth it so whatever god has called you to do it because i had to god called me to do this when i had like nothing to rely on but him like i was in debt i had just got divorced like i had so much going on and now that's not my story anymore my story has changed and i'm grateful and i'm thankful and he's changing your story too so my life has not always been in order like it is now but when you serve god when you serve god and walk in your purpose all things all things not some things all things work for the good of those that love the lord and walk according to purpose so I'm not sad, I'm not um, apologizing for where God has me right now. I'm grateful and I'm thankful and this has been a journey and I'm going to enjoy it. Many people want you to feel like when you're in a blessed season, like you can't talk about it. Um, no, he wants you to testify to who he is. So I'm gonna talk about it. I don't feel bad for being in a blessed season because my seasons weren't always like this and I still did what he told me to do. So I'm gonna enjoy this blessed season and I'm gonna share it with you guys. And if you're hearing it and you're not there yet, it's because he's about to get you there. So he'll put you around people that are in a blessed season, that are in a season of abundance because you're about to experience it too. So that's the word guys i love you guys i hope y'all have a blessed saturday and we'll talk soon bye